Hey Scrabble fans, Will here with another episode of Better Know a Letter. Today, we're going to get to know the H. There are two H's in the set of 100 tiles used in Scrabble. They're worth four points apiece, like most of the tiles in the heavy category, but the H shares more in common with the other tiles in the hybrid category. The first thing to know about the H is its affinity for forming two-letter words. And not only does it form two-letter words with eight out of the ten possible pairings with vowels, it also plays with the M and S for good measure, making it an extremely flexible letter for scoring with parallel plays. When your opponent places a vowel next to a premium square, odds are good that you'll have a strong overlap in response with your H, thanks to its four-point face value and wide range of two-letter words. Just be wary of exposing an H near a triple word score or other valuable area of the board yourself, as your opponent will be just as likely to capitalize. A tile that scores four points and boasts extremely strong representation in two-letter words is a great start for a scoring tile, but the H is also a passable bingo tile as well. It's true that the H is in the middle of the pack of bingo tiles overall, appearing in only roughly 17% of bingos, but it nevertheless strongly outperforms its peers among tiles worth four or more points. The H even outperforms the three-point B as a bingo tile and compares favorably to the M and P as well. Bingoing may not be a strength of the H, but it's not a weakness either. So what tiles should you try and pair with the H? Let's look at vowels first. In bingo length words containing an H, the frequency of vowels is roughly what you would expect to see, with E's leading the way, A's and I's a tick behind, and steep declines to the O and then the U. However, shorter H words of three to five letters in length are a very different story. The A jumps into the top spot, just ahead of the E, while the O gets a huge boost as well, far ahead of the I. The takeaway here is that the E and I gain chemistry with the H as word length increases, and the A and O gain chemistry with the H as word length decreases. Now let's look at how the consonants mesh with the H, beginning with bingos. The low point consonants are all relatively well represented in bingos containing an H, although the L and the N lag behind the R and the T. Note that while we always expect to see the S leading the pack when it comes to frequency in bingo length words, the S and the H have particularly strong chemistry. Well over half of bingos containing an H also contain an S. The C and the H also have extremely strong chemistry in bingos, with the C far outperforming the other high-scoring letters in its representation within H bingos. But as we move on to words of three to five letters in length, you can see that the C and H show strong chemistry in shorter words as well. My episode on the C discussed this powerful combination at length. Not only does the C appear very frequently alongside the H in both long and short words, the two tiles together score a very solid seven points, a number that grows rapidly in conjunction with bonus squares. Among the other low point tiles, the T enjoys by far the best chemistry with the H in shorter words, with all of the other tiles in that group suffering much steeper declines from bingo length words. In fact, the T even works harmoniously with the CH combo, forming a plethora of high-scoring shorter words. Note also that while the W doesn't appear in a particularly large number of bingos alongside the H, it holds that percentage from bingo length words to shorter words surprisingly well, indicating that in shorter words, the W and the H are seen together at an abnormally high clip. Like CH, WH hits hard because of its high combined score. So if you have these two letters on your rack, look for short words to play in tandem with bonus squares on the board. Here are some useful shorter H words containing the W that you may not already know. Lastly, bingos with the H and the power tiles together are extremely rare, and there aren't very many shorter words with them either. This means that words like Haji, Jehu, Kaf, 
hoax, fizz, and cash are critical to learn as some of the very few options you'll have to play off your H along with the power tile. Okay, let's recap what we've learned about the H. The H forms a ton of two-letter words, making it extremely useful to use in parallel plays. It's also a passable bingo tile. While it's not as good of a bingo tile as the low-point consonants, it's easily the best bingo tile among letters of four or more points, and compares favorably to many of the three-point tiles as well. The H has solid synergy in both long and short words with letters like the C, the S, and the T, but the H also manages to turn a clunky tile like the W into a solid scoring threat within shorter words. Because the H is such a versatile scoring tile, I'm giving it a grade of four stars. The H is a tile that both newcomers to the game and veterans should be able to use effectively. Its frequency in two-letter words means that you can use it quickly without studying the dictionary, but for those willing to go the extra mile, the H will become an even more effective tool for scoring in the 30 to 50 point range with a healthy dose of bingos mixed in. Music